Is WhatsApp refusing to install on your phone? Maybe the Play Store says pending and nothing happens. Or maybe you tap install and it just doesn't. I know how frustrating this can be, especially if you're trying to message someone important or join a group right away. But don't worry, by the time you finish this video, you'll know exactly how to fix it and finally get WhatsApp running again. Let's start with the first and most common fix. We're going to refresh the Google Play Store. Grab your phone and open the Settings app. Scroll down until you see Apps or Apps and Notifications. Depending on your phone model, the name might be a little different. Tap it. Now, find the option that says See All Apps or App List. This shows every single app on your phone. Scroll down the list until you find Google Play Store and tap it. Once you're inside, look for Storage and Cache. Tap that and then choose Clear Cache. This step is completely safe. It doesn't delete your apps or your data. All it does is clear temporary files that might be causing the Play Store to get stuck. All right, that's step one done, but we're not finished yet. Go back to the app list, and this time look for Google Play Services. This is like the hidden engine that makes the Play Store and your apps run properly. If it glitches, downloads can get stuck. Tap it, go into Storage and Cache, and again, choose Clear Cache. After clearing both caches, head back to the Play Store and try installing WhatsApp again. In most cases, this is all you need. But if it's still not working, don't give up. Let's check another common problem, storage space. Open settings again and scroll to storage. Here, you'll see how much free space is left on your phone. WhatsApp itself isn't huge, but your phone needs extra space to download and install updates. If you're almost out of storage, your phone will quietly block new app installs. Delete a few videos, large files, or apps you don't use anymore to free up some space. After that, try downloading WhatsApp again. Still stuck? There's one last simple step that fixes a surprising number of problems. Restart your phone. I know it sounds basic, but restarting clears out background glitches and refreshes everything running in memory. Hold your power button, choose Restart, wait for your phone to power back on, and then try the installation again. By now, WhatsApp should finally install. But let's talk about why this problem happens in the first place. Because if you know the reason, it's easier to prevent it in the future. First, it can be Play Store cache issues. <clears throat> you know, over time, the Play Store collects temporary files to speed things up. But if those files get corrupted, downloads fail or freeze. There can also be Google Play Services glitches. This hidden app runs in the background to manage installations and updates. If it misbehaves, your apps simply won't install. Another reason may be low storage space. Android often won't warn you loudly when storage is too low. Instead, it just blocks new app installs quietly. And last common issue are temporary software bugs. You know, every phone develops little hiccups after running for days without a restart. A simple reboot often wipes those away. So the next time WhatsApp or any app refuses to install, you'll know exactly what to do. Clear your caches, check your storage, and restart your device. If this tutorial helped you, let me know in the comments. And if you're still having trouble, tell me which step gave you the most trouble. I'll try to guide you further. Thanks for watching and enjoy using WhatsApp without any more installation headaches.